A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Darkness Falls mod. So I went mining during nighttime. Uh, the pick that I made is already completely broken again. So yeah, I'm going to repair that. I got quite a bit of stone actually. And yeah, it's over here. And I put some of it over here with some clay to make more cobble. Remember, the goal of here is to be able to make ourselves a defense of here for wandering hordes. Because so far, these wandering hordes are insane. It's a shame the fire mod doesn't work in this. But I have to put some pillars downstairs as well, because this whole place is about to cave in. If I can make a proper walkway for the zombie to follow via, then they'll hopefully take the walkway and not try and break the rest of the trader down. Although with the aggressive mods, um, a modlet and everything, I don't know whether the zombies are clever enough to actually path the way I want, to, uh, want them to path. But yeah, basically we have to break this out. Um, we don't have that much cobble on us at the moment. I mean, even with the cobble that I just made over there, it's not a lot. Uh, we can make some more cobble like this, but it's really not that much. At the moment, the cobble that we have is just enough to kind of make like a little bit of a window thingy over here. And then we need way more blocks to actually make the walkway on that side. Requires stone. Luckily, our tool crafting is at 2. So we can repair our tools over here, level 121 quality, without losing durability. If our tool crafting was 1 out of 5, uh, then when we repair it, it would have gone down to 16. Just because we have this perk over here to 2. That's saving us right now. Quick crafting. Level 40. Because I have that already unlocked. So uh, we need to actually go into these over here, but first things first, double rewards. The first point I get today, I need to put into this over here so we can get better rewards. The moment we get better rewards, we might finally start getting like better armors and weapons and gear and stuff. It's really, really going to help us right now. Okay, and then also... Oh, crap. I wanted to vomit this way so she doesn't destroy the rest. But look at the walls over here. These walls are completely wrecked, so it's just about time when this actually goes and then we have a problem. I have to put a pillar or two in, underneath this over here in the corner. So I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to waste a few blocks, wait, come on. Just to waste a few blocks over here, I'm gonna make the very, very thin pole. Do that, do that. That should help a little bit with the weight until that wooden block goes. And then over here we have to make a walkway for the zombies. Even if it's offset, it's fine. I'm just gonna go and do this, security gate. I'm going to use the design that I know they can't pass through, but they're going to go for because it's there. That way we don't have to constantly worry about, oh no, run away from the trader. During nighttime, basically, I don't want to believe the safety of the trader. Every time there's a wandering horde or something, we have to run away. And then, yeah, that's just going to cost us at a stage. I want to go for this mound over here for some dirt. I need way more clay to be able to make more cobble blocks right now. Come on. So that is one, two... Three, four. I'm going to go wide enough out so it's past the stairs and then we're going to turn. I was hoping a wandering horde doesn't wreck the rest of the place before we're able to do this. Also, um, I have actually had a request to move to the snow biome. And I think I'll do stuff like that when I have double rewards. And when we actually haven't died in a while. Basically, first also, I need to go into... Where's that skill? It's not over here, so it's going to be over here. Man, it's the skill that helps you with heat and cold. So, as a survivor. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's my own class. Nice. So, first things first, put a point here. And then I want to go and put points over here. So, the cold and heat doesn't bother us. This also unlocks jerky and mineral water recipes. That's really important. I want to make sure that when we go to the snow biome, we're not constantly just dying from the cold. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should be able to put a shape over there now. I make sure that my food and water also doesn't get too low because our stamina gets heavily affected. So we do on face rotation. That way. Yeah, we'll have the walkway over here because over here, I mean, it's close to the walls and stuff. I want to have it away from the trader right now. It was a mistake. I had my fan on in my room and I'm a, I, it almost feels like I'm getting sick. And my uh, voice actually sounds like I'm sick as well. So I'm constantly trying to clear my throat so you guys actually just hear me properly. Come on. 
As long as I can just put some stairs and stuff in over here, we should be set. Okay, this is a limit. Oh, there's another one coming in. If I could get myself a sniper rifle... Oh, well, we do have this. But if I could get one with a silencer on, that would be amazing. We can sh then shoot her without having to worry about anything else coming to us. I wonder, do we have any clay anywhere? We have coin, but I don't think the trade is reset yet. You're looking kind of rough. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You didn't get bit, If I hear footsteps, I have to run. <laughs> if you find any extra medicine out there, I'll buy it off of you for a discount. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't just dig quickly over here. Do we have a shovel? I should probably make myself a better shovel as well. Uh, yeah, we need a really good shovel right now. I'll actually go and just put this mod on. It doesn't really help because, I mean, that's a wood damage thing. But if you look at the overall block damage, 40, put that on. And that's just stamina cost. That's not going to help at all. Block damage, 21. I wonder if those are broken. It doesn't seem to say or do anything. We don't have any other weapons. We have a ton of weapons and explosives and stuff here. That's awesome. Look at that. So I just have to make sure this place doesn't cave in and we don't lose everything. Yeah, where is she? I need to take care of her. I might have enough blocks to just quickly go. Yeah, I might have enough blocks to just quickly go and make a staircase, but I want to make it solid. So I have to keep my ears open for pitter patter of feet. I don't really hope the Wandering Ward can just hold off for like another two or so in-game hours. If I could get a hundred cobble, that's ten worth of blocks. It's not really that much. Okay, I think I should stop right here because my stamina is getting a little bit too low. At least we got like 231 just by doing this little piece over here. Now I just have to make sure we're constantly making cobble. That's 20 more blocks worth that I just, just made, I think. Um, I should probably also make this over here so that if I were to die, I don't lose the resources. And everything else we have to put away for now as well. So I'm going to put that in there. It's resources, resources, food and drink. I have to make sure we're filled up before we leave as well. It's 15, so I can take one more. The only problem is, by filling up before we go like this, if I die, then I filled up for no reason at all. But I have to fill up, otherwise we're too slow. Our stamina and everything takes a massive hit if our food and water gets too low. Okay, also, we only have five bolts left. Can I make more? It's probably not going to be iron, although we can take these apart. If I take these apart, you can open them. So basically I'm spamming, uh, I'm just tensing my arm so it goes faster. I'm spamming A and also clicking A at the same time so it opens really fast. But now that I do that, we can do this. We just need some wood that I don't have. And now we have to make ourselves some arrows. Or crossbow bolts, I mean. Okay, so we need sticks. Yeah, okay, we have everything that we need on us just to do that. Uh, Technically, yeah, before we leave, I'll just stop and I'll put it in the workstation as well. Anything you have crafting when you die also gets destroyed. Just remember that. Okay, the shovel we can put away because I'm not going to take any more clay right now. I could actually go and with the little bit of cobble we have, just try and get as far as possible. Better animal bait. What's that? It's the first time I've seen that block. Okay, so basically at the moment it is max. It's 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, it's because of that uh, block over there not holding the weight. I could put another pillar in over there that's going to help some. But because that pillar over there, that, that block's hanging basically. If this defense was over there, then it could hold one more block. But yeah, that's 12. I need to be careful not to break my leg right now. It seems it's going on with that one over there. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. If I could go 6 more and then put the thing... Uh, no, that might be too much. Let's make sure copy shape. No, 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 not copy shape, copy rotation. I have to go and make a full block. I'll just fall down over here. Please don't break a leg. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. Over here, we can actually start doing this. Now we do copy shape, copy rotation. All I have to do is put some stairs or ladder or something in over here. And the zombies will path yeah instead of going for the trader. Because they'll feel like, ooh, that's an easy way to get to me over here. Although what I need to do, I'm going to test something that I saw in TBF Gaming's um, Horde Knight. Basically, he gave me shoutouts in his Horde Knight and Ravenhurst. And he used this defense where you use the catwalk block. 
the triangle. But he did something I didn't know was going to work. He went and did advanced rotation. Like so, so the zombies are going to uh, get pushed off. And then he went and did this. And the zombies still path. Even though there's two blocks on top of each other, like this, they're less likely to try and jump over. So that's something I was like, oh, wow, it actually worked. He went all the way to the roof and they still went, they path correctly. So I just need to do this so I don't fall off. And then over here, I'm going to do the same. But over here, I'll just put one in case they get over. They're going to put, get pushed down. Over there, we need to make more stairs. And then they should path here, but I'm, I'll make another block over here. I'll put a door in properly. I think if there's a proper door over here, they're more likely to even path better. And then this I have to block off as soon as possible. We have to make sure this whole thing over here is not wood. So that if they were to vomit at me, they don't destroy my forge and all this stuff over here. 1 minute 40, that should finish all of that stuff. See, as soon as we have this up and running, at least they should not destroy the trader and we can finally do some uh, killing over here. We can even earn some XP by shooting at them. Trader's busy caving in from the top down, but that's fine. Okay, so then we go also and over here, just put a block. It has to be a full block, because if it's not, the zombie, uh, the cops can see through it. At the moment, anything that is like a cop, the, the big mama, the tourist, everyone, they can see you through half blocks and vomit at you. That's why the walls, the floor, everything needs to be full blocks. Okay, and now I just have to put the staircase in over there. I wonder if I should put it in such a way... The stairs should probably go down into the asphalt over there. The reason for that being is I want to make sure that when they path, they, uh, I can actually throw a molotov from over here. I'm going to put ladders there, and then I'm going to make the staircase go down. So there's a staircase for dogs and stuff, and the rest of them will be able to climb a ladder, and I'll be able to molotov them from an angle as well. So we're going to do this, although we will not have enough shapes right now for this to really happen. So we do this. Remember, you always want to make sure that this block over here that's carrying the weight isn't attached. To the, uh, to the ladder. If there's a ladder over here, they're going to stand here. They're going to either break this block or that block, and then the whole thing caves in. So you want to make sure that the ladder starts over here, and then you don't have that problem. They do sometimes still stand really weird. I'll show you what I mean right now. They do still sometimes stand over here and destroy this block, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to try and make it wider. I'm going to try and do a little bit more defense. So what I'll do is, since there is one ladder already, to make sure this side doesn't cave in as easily... I'll do this. I need one more block right there. Okay. And then we should be good to go. When they get pushed off, they will, will not fall on this. They'll fall this side. They'll turn around and they'll go, come up the ladder again. I need to make sure that it is another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks of ladder over here. And then needs to be a, a staircase going down. Just in case there's like a bear or a dog or something, I can't climb a ladder. You want to make sure that they can actually follow the ladder that way. I'm kind of curious to test it on a zombie and see if this defense really works. There's a wandering horde coming through. There is a wandering horde. Okay, so now, um, all those bolts finished. Let's do this. I want to make sure we leave as many as possible over here. And then for food and drink, we have all of this stuff on us. Okay, this wandering horde is coming like a godsend right now. We need to test this base. I need to also go and block this off at the back there. I can't see through there. That should lure them over. I need to make sure they actually climb the ladders over here as well. See, they keep getting stuck in that building for some reason. I keep forgetting this thing has multiple shots. Yeah, for some reason they get stuck inside that POI and then uh, they come in dri uh, dribs and drabs. Which is really dangerous for us. Come on. There's a radiated zombie as well. Okay, this seems to have broken it. So the poor thing for this one... Okay, we have to destroy this, damn it. Hopefully I can do it before they start going for that pillar over there. This might cave in if that pillar goes. Be careful of any cops or big mamas or whatever. I don't want to lose the iron pick right now. I mean, if we lose it, we lose it. But I don't want to lose this iron pick. Oh, he's actually pointing to a ladder. Let's see. For some reason... Okay, I need to take that ladder and stuff out. Look at that. It actually works. Oh, I almost fell down. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. It works really well. 
Yes! Okay, now I just have to be careful of big mamas and stuff. Although, if I can make them vomit over here, I can make them help me. Yes, it works! It works, it works, it works! Finally! Let's get a nice cinematic view of this. Oopsie. Okay, um, yeah. Unfortunately, this isn't high enough, so they do aggro a bit. But even if they aggro, at least as long as we can throw a Molotov or two over there. Okay, let's just do that. I want to do this. They should burn down. That's mostly feral. Oh, hello. They're actually clever enough to try and do that. But even if they stand on their friends' heads, they do still fall off. Yeah, I want to kill them, especially these radiators, while they're vulnerable. Otherwise, they heal too fast. I might have to use an explosive or two on them. It's the only few, uh, way they might learn. Okay, do you have more explosives? So the problem at the moment is the fact... We can do that, we can do this. The problem at the moment is the fact that they can still come from behind of here. If they decide for some reason or whatever reason they don't want to climb anymore, then we have a problem. Come on. Oh crap. Yep, 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 yep. Whoops. Oh damn it, I couldn't make the jump back up. No! I couldn't make the jump back up! Please, after all that, you're telling me I'm gonna fail. And around, please. Please. Oof! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But they do still make okay, I need to put a second on over here. Holy crap, they do still make it over. We have to be careful of that. Damn. Yeah, he surprised me with how easily he made it over. Technically, they're not supposed to make it over because of the um, double ramp, but also because of the fact that they, uh, they're sliding off towards my side. I need you guys to fall on your back so it's easier to shoot your heads, please. Why did you do that now? I want to kill these guys, but they have to be together for me to throw the explosive at them. And they heal too fast, these radiator bikers. See, because this thing is not 11 blocks high, it is a little bit weak. This would work way, way better if this, the fence was 11 blocks high and far. But for now, at least, this is something. Come on. There you go, finally. I should be careful of streamers showing up though. This is the very first time we've been actually able to fight them like this though. There you go, yes! And now we can get double rewards. I have to wait for them to fall on their asses like that to get the headshot in. We're definitely getting a scream award, though. Unfortunately. And the scream awards are going to be even worse. <laughs> See, these zombies are still coming from the other wall. I said, remember I said that they're stuck behind that one uh, wall? They're still coming from there. The tough zombies can still do some serious damage. Do we have any quests active? Open trade routes, that's all. Razor's house. Oh, it actually says over here. Razor's house and then trader you. Okay, never really noticed that. Okay, so we're going to put a point in here. Now we can get double rewards. Unfortunately, yeah, that did barely any damage. And they are healing. Just like radiators. So I could throw a Molotov at... Uh, we do have a few Molotovs. 
probably a waste doing this right now. But I mean, if I can kill them, it's free XP, right? And at least this way, we're testing our defense. It actually works. Come on, go to the same side, please. Now I can't stop this from throwing. If your sister falls down... Okay, I'm gonna have to run away. Although, I need to accept another quest from the scout, and I can't do that. Why are you not bathing correctly? Damn it. I need to see if I don't have an anti-rad mod. Especially for these guys. Now if we can just lure the zombies back to this place every single time we want to face them. We have a way to uh, kill every single wandering horde. Okay, these two are still burning. The problem is, if we were to get a, a legendary item right now and we die, we lose a legendary item. I'm so getting a screamer soon. I need to get out of here before that happens. Go on your back. Oh, you have some balance. Damn. I'm wasting a lot of ammo right now, but that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Keep telling yourself that, John. It's fine. They're almost dead, and all of a sudden, they stand up again. I need to work on my uh, rifle skill a bit more. Did the other one die? Basically, after I shoot, the cursor goes too big. I need to uh, keep it small as possible. There you go. Okay, so now we have to be careful. There might be some more zombies left. Yeah, they're still stuck at the back over there. And they might be feral. So we could go down. I think we should be safe enough to go down. And be careful. I need to keep my ear open for more. I think the scientist... Yeah, hello. About to say, I think there's more scientists. But this one is actually just uh, when I got stuck somewhere else. Come on. Oops, don't fall down. I want to get these bags before they despawn. What the hell? Why are you at the back? Climb the ladder. The ladder's still intact, but for some reason... I wonder if I shouldn't uh, take away that one ramp block. When they do pass, they pass nicely, but when they don't pass, we have a problem. As soon as one or two zombies started parting over here, the rest parted as well. But now all of a sudden, I think I might just have to do, uh, take this away. But then again, we have to uh, add then a few more to make sure they fall. Because we saw what happened uh, with the ones that actually made it over this. They made it to me too easily. If I can just take this away. I want to get that loot, man. It just takes one radiated zombie to hit me and I'm dead. That's why I'm being so cautious. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. There's a few zombies. It's the, there's a lady there and something stuck in the wall. I've used so many explosives just now. Where's that other tough one? Asmat's nice. I need to get rid of the corpses of here as well. If we're stuck down here when they attack... Oh, nail gun, I have to get up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. These corpses are going to slow us down to the point where we can't move, so we have to get rid of them. How may I serve you? Any jobs? Restore power, restore power, restore... No, thank you. Can I trust you? Yeah. I'd say so. Okay, let's see if she actually has a quest for us. I think this was the other tough one. She bled out. Why are you a sight for sore eyes? What can I get you? Uh, Mopo Shack, I think's the best. You look like you could hand. This is dangerous. 
There's actually quite a few skills that we really need right now, but I think the first thing we have to go for is sneak damage. Especially since we're using a crossbow and we're using like the hunting rifle and stuff. If we can actually get to a point... Where are you guys? Where are you guys? I have to kill three of you. If we can get to a point where we can snipe them from a distance. I mean, even with this, you can run away. They can lose track of you and then from a distance you can snipe them. If we can do that, it'll solve so many of our issues. Oh, I know there's some in between the trees of you. I need to be careful. I should basically be able to do some sneak damage to that one. Look at that. And he's dead. I should probably not waste my ammo like that. We can only we only need to kill three, like I said. You should bleed out. There you go. I don't think he's seen us. Oh, there's one to the right. Be careful. Nice. We only had to kill three. We don't have to kill the rest. But I mean, it's obviously free XP. Moment already, damn it. What did he do just now? Did he actually vomit? I'm going to leave the other one for now. Don't want to waste any ammo. We also have to be careful because I have no idea how quickly a new Wandering Horde will come in. Like, does the Wandering Horde wait for the first one to first despawn, or does it just start? If it just starts, we might have a problem. But if it has to wait for the previous one to finish, we still have some previous zombies there. The soldier, when I got, when I ran away, I was able to see in the distance the soldier make it through. Okay, so yeah, like I said, next points we have to put into stealth. Because even with places like this, if you can just look where the zombies are and stealth them from a, this, a distance. This is a fetch though, so we don't see... Zombies, unfortunately. The zombie right here. It only shows you... Oh, it's feral. It only shows you what the zombie is once you actually shoot some. No, 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 no I'm dead. No, this is unfair. They stunned me. Run. Oh, that was unfair. Holy shit. That was unfair just now. Woo. Don't blow up the car. That was way too close for bloody comfort. He instantly stunned me. See, I have to go for this as well, but obviously my athletics needs to be higher. I'll also need to start going for stuff. Oh, but pain tolerance is over there. That stops from concussions and stuff. So I should probably go for security next. Oh, that was way too close for comfort. I still want to loot this place, but we have to make sure this place is cleared out of all zombies. Crap. Crap, no. What have I done? Yep, I'm dead. Crap, don't, 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 don't. Ooh, leak crap. Okay, I'm taking unnecessary chances right now. And also have to be careful because the A21 zombies jump. So she's clever enough to try and jump and swipe at me. Yeah, there might be something in the back over there, but there's also resources. I should probably just quickly get that fetch. As, as, as long as the fetch... Blah, blah, blah. As long as the fetch is done, we're good to go. I need to chop more trees, though, because I need some wood. Seems to have been it. You just know there's going to be something dangerous in there. It seems it's not just the Wandering Hordes. All, because it's insane difficulty as well, all the zombies are tough. Is that on the outside? I think so. The zombie over there. Oh, it's underneath over there. It's a weak radiated. I'm just going to leave you be right there. If I can just get myself a crowbar. 
crap. He woke up. But yeah, if I can get myself a crowbar, that might really help us out. At least if I were to die now, it's okay. Obviously, I don't want to die, but if I were to die, at least we have the quest done. So we'll still be able to get our double rewards times two. Oh, he's a decaying radiated. Though it doesn't make his hits light, so we have to be careful. At least I'm leveling up nicely. That's a, that's a big thing. We do have to be careful because every time you die, there's like an XP penalty too. And also, if we were to die, we, I don't think we'll immediately be able to get times two rewards, unfortunately. Okay, I'm doing something really dumb right now. It's a cop. It's a big mum. Wonder who I should get first. If I can get the others to fall down, there might also be a vulture. Crap, he's feral. Oh, that was way too close. He doesn't tell me she destroyed. I wonder how far that thing can actually go. So look, he's also radiated. What effery is this? I'll be careful of the wandering horde. At least I'll be at uh, at my base at night time. Come on. If a wandering horde shows up, I'll be able to uh, take them on. But I need to get back to the base before one spawns in. I don't want to fight, uh, fight one out here. Basically, what I had to do just now. I should be able to climb that ladder though now. We already took the zombie out at the back of here. Oh, 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 I don't have my shovel with me. I needed that. Probably just close that just in case. I really needed that resource, those resources just now. That might be cobble. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, sledge turret. Yes. So now my defense is going to be uh, perfect. If anything makes it pass, I'm, I'm going to remove that second block so they pass better. But if they were to uh, even try and jump over, the sledge turret should knock them down. I'm going to put it in such a way that it knocks them down regardless of how they fall. I need to make those blocks concrete as soon as possible though as well. Okay, we can be glad there's no vultures over here. It just takes one vulture to really mess my day up right now. Come on, stamina. Stamina, stamina. Okay, let's go hand this in at the trader. Luckily, we're not encumbered right now, but even if we were, we can just do that. Um, I don't have enough wood for frames, so I'm gonna have to go and try and chop down a tree or two. But I need a proper fire axe or to have the trader sell it to me. Should probably not be doing this right now because my stamina is low, but I mean, this is free iron right here. And then the street lamps over here just fell down. Okay, there's a soldier and stuff might still be over. Can I help you? Okay, we'll take this and we'll take the AK. Jobs, restore power, Can no I trust thank you. you. Previous tier, lady killer. You help me. We just want double rewards right now. It doesn't matter. Tier 1, tier 2, doesn't matter. As long as we get those double rewards, that's all. Oh, yes, that's all that matters. And also, if we can get full yeah, military gear. Damn. For a job well done. Wooden bow. Iron knuckles. Another job. Uh, we'll do it as close as possible. Passing gas. Hurry back soon. Even though we are getting ferals and stuff, guys, we are finally getting double rewards. So now, from yeah, it should only be up. It really should only be up. Okay, we have a point. Let's quickly go over the... Oh, I just realized. Stealth and those things, like the, the sneak damage is under Hunter class. Oh, I wonder. Yeah, okay, research desk. Desk. Right, oh, writing desk. We can make this, and we can make ourselves another class. If I can go like... I think I wanted to go soldier for the pain tolerance, but if I can go... Um, into the other one to be able to get uh, into a hunter to be able to get the sneak damage then definitely but guys i'm just gonna chop some wood i'm just uh, we have a nice axe here i'm quickly gonna go chop some wood uh we really really need it right now and then i'll be catching you guys next time so if you guys like this episode please like and share with your friends comments tips and feedback leave it down below and if you guys are new to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more of this content see you guys next time for some more darkness falls insanity Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my Seminase that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.